So what I'm going to do now is use the measurements found on this paper, which is also on our website, if you scroll up from the videos. And I need to mark the lines that are shown here onto our block. So uh, just follow along and take your time and check your measurements carefully, but we'll walk you through this step and it should be no problem. Okay, so I'm going to try and illustrate this as clearly as possible. Um, first, make sure that you have your tri-square set uh, going either direction on your clean face that you do not have your name on. Handle needs to be tied up against the edge of the wood, or the end of the wood depending on which way you're starting out here. And as mentioned, I'm just going to follow the measurements that are on our paper here. The first one is 9 16 on our tri-squares here, and it says it right up in the corner here, it says 16th, so all I need to go is nine lines. The handle is zero. So from there we would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Half inches, eight lines. Go one more, a little more right in line with it. There's our nine sixteenths. The next one, one and one eighth. So if I slide over to an inch, an eighth is two sixteenths, so I go two more lines and mark here. Uh, the next one is one and three fourths. So one and a half is two fourths. I'm going to go an extra fourth or four more lines. One and twelve lines or three fourths. No line there. Longer line. The next one is two and five sixteenths. So again, each line is a sixteenth. So two inches would be zero sixteenths. One, two, three, four, five more lines. And mark. And the final one is two and fifteen sixteenths. 16 sixteenths is a whole inch, so that would be our three inch mark. I want 15 sixteenths, so I'll go to three inches, back off one, that's 15 sixteenths, here we go. What I need to do with these points now is I need to run those the whole length of the board. I drew them across the grain here. I need to run the lines opposite that. So I'm going to spin this around and line up and mark these the whole way across. Again, make sure that the handle is tight. Make sure you're lined up with your points and run those the whole way across. When you get down here, it's gonna be a little unstable. Turn the thing around or just use the underside of the tri square. So trying to film and do this is a little more awkward than just doing it on its own here. <clears throat> here we go, we have those five lines. So now, I need to make the same five lines go in the opposite direction. <clears throat> this tends to throw people off. Now what I want to do is line up here anywhere the same way that I marked these lines, the same way I drew them I should say, I'm going to do the same numbers again. So 9 sixteenths or 9 lines from the handle. I'm going to do 1 and 3 fourths. I'm sorry, 1 and 1 eighth first. 1 inch plus 1 eighth would be 2 lines. Now 1 and 3 fourths or 1 and 12 lines. Again, if you're not sure, just count over 12 lines after the inch. So the inch would be 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. <clears throat> I need two and five sixteenths, so five lines after the two inch mark, and two and fifteen or one line before the three inch mark. I'm going to do these the same way. I'm going to spin this 90 degrees, and I'm going to run these across the length here. Handle tight against the edge, mark it. Mark it. That one. Use the underside here. There we go. Alright, so some of these lines are for cuts, some of these lines are for drilling. To mark this, go to the first intersection where two lines meet, first one. Put a circle. Skip a line, circle. Skip a line, circle. 
Same thing going down. Skip a line, circle. Skip, circle, skip, circle. Again, skip a line, circle, skip, circle, skip, circle. There we go. So, this is going to show me that where I have circles, I'm going to drill a hole. Where I do not have circles, I'm going to cut my lines. Okay, now that I have the lines drawn on top of my board on the face, I need to draw lines on an edge. The edge is going to be the smoother side with a nice straight grain. Hopefully you can see that all right. Where we see the circles, the growth rings, that is an end. We do not want to use an end. We want to use an edge with a nice straighter grain. So, once again, set this down. Um, it really doesn't matter. I just like to put it with the uh, face up here. And on our drawing, I have some points to mark. Whole thing is three and a half inches from side to side. I need to draw seven eighths in from one end, seven eighths in from the other end, and one and three fourths carries down in the center. I'm also going to need three quarters of an inch from one face to give me the center line going lengthwise here. So, with my tri square, set it up there nice and tight use the underside and make sure you're more accurate. A whole inch again is 16 16 or 8 8 I need to go 7 8 so what I'm going to do is back off 2 16 or 1 8 before the inch that's 7 8 of an inch. I said I'm going to need 1 and 3 fourths so I'll slide over to a whole inch plus an extra 12 lines or 3 fourths put me here longer line right in between the half and the two inch mark. Now, the other one was seven eighths from this end in. I just will flip my tri square around and mark off seven eighths or 14 sixteenths in the handle or two lines before the inch. There we go. Like we did before. I'm just gonna run these straight across. Okay, now I need to mark three quarters from a face. Again, this is a face. So, set my dress square up here. Three quarters or 12 lines. The longest line in between the half inch and the whole inch mark is three quarters. And I'm gonna run that straight on across here. There you go. Um, what I need. Big circle, tiny circle, big circle. These two holes are gonna be for marbles. This one's gonna accept the screw. So that'll help us keep track of what we're doing here. And that's it for that step.